Hello fellow foodies and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now the festive stuff in the supermarkets and everywhere else is in full swing and Christmas is around the corner. But we have something very very festive to eat from the meal deal section. Let's have a look at what we've got. So here we are ladies and gents. Today's food review is going to consist of Morrison's festive cheese board sandwich. Yes, Morrison's have done a mad one and yeah, I'm really excited and intrigued to see what this sandwich tastes like. Welcome back to the table ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, we've got our Morrison's festive cheese board sandwich. Now I've got a confession to make. I've seen this on my Facebook feed around about Sunday. So it's Thursday now and that was like four days ago. And actually I couldn't get around to doing it simply because I had to work. So it's a little bit of a late one, but this here is situated in Morrison's meal deal section. You'll see when they normally like have their meal deals, uh, all that sort of jazz there. Um, literally now they've got a load of festive sandwiches. So I've got this one here, which is the festive cheese board sandwich. And also tomorrow I've got like a Boxing Day curry wrap, which absolutely sounds amazing and blew my mind. So I had to pick that one up as well. Now you'll find these, obviously, like I just said, in the meal deal section for £2.50. And this one really caught my eye. There's nothing more than up, like, there's nothing more I like than a cheese board at Christmas. All the different types of cheeses, Red Leicester, you know, Strong Cheddar, Wensleydale, um, I don't actually like Stilton. Go away. Um, and blue cheese, I think I quite like blue cheese. I've had it before a few times, but I'm probably not as keen on it as uh, other cheeses. Hey ho, but yeah, pick this one up, and yeah, I cannot wait tuck into it so let's waste no time before we tuck into the video though i'm gonna give you guys a little description all about this sandwich and also scott and wonder also did this um sandwich scott and wonder's world so i'll leave their information in the description and you can check out their food review as well festive cheese board balsamic onion chutney wensleydale cheese mature cheddar cheese seasoned mayonnaise spinach and black sticks blue cheese on malted bread that was easy Per sandwich is 451 calories with 17 grams of protein. Right, let's open this bad boy up now. Enough jibber jabber. Let's actually um, get into the tasting. Oh, if you didn't notice already, this t-shirt finally came out of the wash and it's finally dried. So um, I no longer need to wear um, different clothing. But hey, hey, I quite like the uh, different t-shirts for a change. But um, here we go. Here's the sandwich itself. Um, it's actually, well, I bought this last night in Morrison's, here's the sandwich itself, here's the sandwich, uh, it looks rather dull, let's be honest with you, it doesn't look like the best sort of sandwich in the world, but we'll work with this. I actually bought this last night on the 9th of November, it's now the 10th of November when I'm reviewing it. And that's the um, use-by date. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if, like, use-by dates really m matter too much. What I mean is, if I was eating this on the 7th and it ran out on the 10th, would it be better to eat it on the 7th? Or would it be better to eat it on the 10th? I'm not really sure. But it's not out of date. So, that's a good start. Oh. Here we go, then. Let's tuck into this sandwich. There's a lot of spinach in there. Um, I'm looking for the cheese. There's a little bit of cheese. I can't really see any blue cheese, but let's go in anyway. So straight away you're hit with that um, onion chutney. I quite like onion chutney actually. It's really nice with um, the malted bread and the cheese. I'm not really picking up a load of cheese flavour. I think I'm picking up basically the mature cheddar. There is like one strip of mature cheddar cheese there. Well, let's go in for another bite. Love that chutney. It's really rich, really sweet. I'm trying to pick up like, it looks like to me on this sandwich, the Wensleydale, get that focus. It looks like to me, the Wensleydale and the actual blue cheese is sort of like all mashed together in sort of like a cheese spread. Visually, you can only really see the mature cheese, the sort of square, and then the blue cheese and the Wensleydale sort of like being mashed up into sort of like this cheesy spread. Almost like a like a sandwich spread as it were. Multi bread is very common uh, with these festive sandwiches. I think multi bread works really well. There's something about multi bread which is just like 
amazing, but from time to time I quite like the white bread. To be honest with you, I'm not getting like an outstanding flavour from the spinach. It's simply there for like a sandwich filler. Also, we've got the chutney and the mature cheese. And that's really all I can taste. There's not so much um, a massive taste from the Wednesday Dell with the blue cheese. It's not like all bang. I can taste the flavour straight away. It's sort of just like chutney and cheese. That's basically it. Um, in terms of calling it the cheese board sandwich, there's only three cheeses in this sandwich. For me, if it's going to be a cheese board sandwich, you're going to have to have something like five, six cheeses in a sandwich. Maybe that's what I could do one day at home. Just make a massive cheese board sandwich. That'd be a fantastic idea. So here we go with the second sandwich from the box. £2.50. Obviously, you would never ever get this sandwich on its own. Let's be clear. I only got this for, you know, review purposes. So in future, you just get like a £3 or £3.50 meal deal. And here we have it. You have your sandwich. For me, it's a little bit underwhelming. The festive cheese board sandwich, uh, for me, was so outstanding. I was like, you know what? I've got to try this. This has to be a really good sandwich. But in all honesty, it's simply just like, it just tastes like a bog standard cheese. One sort of flavoured cheese and then like a load of onion chutney which is really really nice. In theory you could just have, yeah, just mature cheese with onion chutney and just call it a festive cheese ball. But for me there's not enough cheeses in there, there's not like a different varieties, I'm just lo losing my mind. I mean yeah, it's not bad but it's not really amazing. You know what, in the second, in the second sandwich... You can sort of taste more of that blue cheese than you can in the first slice, which is a little bit weird. Well, guys, this is the end of the review. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a summary of what I thought of that festive cheese board sandwich. Now, £2.50 on its own, obviously, you would never buy it on its own for a start. And, yeah, the sandwich itself, malted bread, lovely. There's just, like, only, like, a one-dimensional cheesy sort of flavour, and you just get, like that onion chutney which is absolutely fantastic it sort of balances it the sweet flavor with the with cheesy richness but for me it's just like a little bit disappointing you know when somebody says festive cheese board you expect a lot of different varieties of cheese and yeah it's a little bit of a letdown that one thanks for watching if i could give this product a review you know what i'd say maybe a six out of ten or something like that i i I don't think I'd ever buy it again. I mean, I'm glad I tried it, but I'm hoping tomorrow's Boxing Day curry wrap from Morrison's Meal Deal section is going to be a lot better. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate you watching my videos, and yeah, I really love doing this content so much. Uh, if you could subscribe, that'd be fantastic. And yeah, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next review. <laughs>